All right. So, Schnurtcast, back at it again. Back here with Cool Cannon. Hey. Thank you so much for being here, bro. Taking time out of your busy schedule. Bro, love porn. It, I, I had to give porn. <laughs> I had to give Pornhub a break. <laughs> um, before we even continue this video, um, my little baby uh, nephew just came home from the hospital today. Baby, first Milo. day. Yeah. Uh, welcome to this world, little buddy. Fucking many more to come, hopefully, and uh, love you. Shout out, little Milo Wilson. <laughs> uh, his older brother named Owen. Owen so Wilson. My yeah, Owen Wilson. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's the whole Wilson family over there. <laughs> exactly. And I don't. And I don't mean the volleyball from Castaway. I mean, I'm surprised <laughs> my sister didn't name him Luke. But uh, I was. <laughs> I, I could have sworn we had a pack for Josh, but it's cool. Whatever. I see how it is. <laughs> uh, cool. You're like, why did they name him Colt Cannon? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you guys were fans, but damn, <laughs> I'm just going to copyright infringe the shit out of this baby. <laughs> um, so if you don't know, me and this, uh, me and Josh, even Will, we've been talking about. I, I literally have a picture of me, you and Will and Dan, the last picture ever. And I'm always li- I like it pops up and I'm always like, ugh. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're, we're huge. We are huge fans of the MCU. A lot of things we hate, a lot of things we like, uh, some things we love. But um, from the Eternals that we've seen, there's a lot of good stuff that they're setting up for the future. Yeah. And there's but, a lot of bad stuff. Yeah. Like the TV shows and everything. All of them. All of them. But all of them. It's still hard to wonder how it's going to affect movies and the shows. Yeah. I'm sure um, Disney saw what uh, Netflix did with the yeah. uh, the, the Marvel. The Daredevils and stuff. Yeah. Daredevil, Punisher, Jessica. Iron Fist. Yeah. Um, Luke Cage. So they're obviously trying to do their own thing. That's why they yeah. bought all the rights back from. And, and by the way, there's still a rumor that Charlie Cox, a.k.a. Daredevil from Netflix, might show up in Spider-Man No Way Home. I think it's a bullshit lie. I think it's completely bullshit. Unless Netflix literally bought out that Daredevil to make sure that Daredevil exists in this universe. Yeah, but, yeah I don't I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not impressed. Yeah, but uh, they, just, they just dropped a whole bunch of... Uh, teasers for i'm guessing their new uh uh disney plus shows which mean you aren't fans of but Not hopefully they can learn from their mistakes i mean i watched the trailer for moon Knight, and it seemed semi-interesting but i'm also a fan of that actor and he was uh, that's that's the I actor from he is it's I've from seen the, that actor who it's was the guy the from movie. x machina x machina oh star yeah, wars machina. Yeah. Uh, yeah uh or star wars poe Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, that guy's in a or or for the people who don't know, he also was Apocalypse in X Men Apocalypse. So he, when you told me that, I did not know that. Yeah, so that's I think pretty... he's an amazing actor. He really is. It's just he keeps getting these roles from Marvel or Disney that I'm just like, <laughs> Make your mind up, dude. yeah, I'm like, bro, I'd rather. Or I maybe don't know. He was just in one movie, and it's just like they just those are the only people that keep on calling him back. No, yeah, and, there, and there's also a rumor that Henry Cavill, the guy who played Man of Steel, Superman, is yeah. also joining the MCU. So I'm Ooh, just what a body blow to fucking DC if that's true. <laughs> they missed out. <laughs> they missed out for sure. Yeah, they definitely fucked. Up. Moon Knight. So. We're going to watch these and then we'll react to each one. After. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We'll let them play through. Yeah. Okay. So this is who you're talking about being Moon Knight. Uh, yeah, and, yeah. And he also has split personalities for everybody listening Between in the comics. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is all the faces. <laughs> oh, shit. That looks brutal. That does. I like it. All the white with the blood. It devours you. Woo! The rooftop. I mean, okay. Okay, it doesn't okay. look bad. Secret invasion. What is this supposed to be like the uh, the mutant thing? Or maybe the crawl? Oh, the scroll. oh, oh yeah. I called it. I called it the scroll. Yeah, the scroll. Miss Marvel. Okay, we knew that was coming. Come on, let's talk about you. Not is really this the, the brown yep, Miss Marvel? Seen. Yeah, the girl from the games. You saved the world. Maybe she looks just do. like her. I got 
I don't know how they're gonna do her superpower though. I have something to say during this part, but I'm gonna only wait till till come yeah. back. I like I said, I I you can already tell they're gonna idolize Marvel. See, this uh, is what you brought Marvel. up fucking hell long ago. Yeah, and I'm not excited about I'm this all at all, at all. I'm <laughs> a normal lawyer. Right there, this is why she looks horrible. She looks horrible. You made it. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. They made it like the 70s. Seven, like, the, like the yeah. TV show. Like the TV show. I, I'm not interested. It should have been on Hulu. What, what if season, season two? two? I mean, I, I the season one was disappointing. Agatha, House of Harkness. That's the that's a spinoff of um of uh WandaVision. Spider Man, No Way the the freshman year. That's the origin story of Spider Man. By the way. This is the, have to be animated, right? There's it no is animated. <laughs> it's animated, but it's the origin story of Tom Holland Spider Man's freshman year. All right. I'm not I excited. We, I think we have one way. more. Echo. I don't know what that is. I have no idea what Echo Marvel the dolphin. Is. No, I'm kidding. Either that or Ooh. that's probably a cartoon. Ironheart is the girl who is an Iron Man ripoff. She's an Iron Man ripoff. Is all it is. Marvel Zombies. We predicted that was coming. X Men remake of '97, which so is what, the most insulting one. So, Moon Knight. This is obviously the one they're fucking promoting the most, and obviously looks like it's the best one. It has to be with yeah. this dude. Yeah. You see that though? Oscar Isaac is his name. You see how the the mirror? Oh, yeah. Okay. So he had as he walks away. He has split personalities in the comics. There's three. One at one, the guy who is the superhero Moon Knight has three personalities. One, two, three. So that makes sense. So that makes sense completely. I can't tell the difference. Okay, so I'm sorry. I'm right here, his face is like, <laughs> I'm sorry, that face that, like dude. The, yeah, uh, you know, we've all felt this way after a night of drinking and eating Taco Bell. Like, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> for real, bro. Next to the I toilet, he was a five star chef. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, those nachos. <laughs> <laughs> they were too grande. They were too grande. <laughs> <laughs> And then this right, he's like, yeah. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> the faces that he makes in these, like, bro, well, yeah, which he's I very, get it. He's very expressive, which I get it. He's supposed to be like crazy, which Moon Knight pretty much was in uh, yeah, the Marvel vs. Capcom games, yeah. But uh, I just find it hilarious. The voice in your head, this looks crazy though. The little. <laughs> No, I love this because if you look at the rest of the scene, don't uh, ignore, just ignore him beating the fucking pulp out of this guy. Look at the rest of the room. It looks like the room is covered in blood. See, the floor yeah, has dude. blood all over it. It has like fucking uh, smash marks. Like there was like a fucking battle in here. Yeah, so I'm excited about that. This looks cool. This looks really cool. <laughs> I like that part though. But this scene, uh, him jumping across the roof is just like. It, it's very superhero. I like, I like this part though because it does show him. In, I'm hopeful. I'm thinking it's showing him, showing him in his costume, right? Yeah, yeah. In this scene too. See, he's Ooh, in his costume. Yeah, yeah. Right there too. And then what if he? What if he's done fucking people up? And then he's just like, like Edward Norton and fucking Fight yeah. Club. Like what's he comes to. Yeah, yeah, he comes like, to. I didn't do this. Who are you talking about? Who's time? Well, it, it, in this in this trailer, it looks like they reveal the three personalities. One's like a detective. One's like a million dollar playboy, and one is Moon Knight. Yeah. So everybody knows. There we go. I was trying to get a better fucking. <laughs> yeah. So this character is probably like not the millionaire. It's probably Moon Knight coming out of being into that low life detective. And like, it, literally, there's three personalities that this character displays. So this should be pretty, like, if they fuck this up, it, it, it really goes to show you that Disney's Disney not Plus. willing. Yeah, they, it really goes to show you Disney Plus is really not like a win. They're just trying to cash Get, grab. Yep, money. It looks nuts, though. I mean, I, I'm not excited, though. I'm not excited about it. So what about this one, Marvel Evasion? This is, this all is obviously this is obviously Samuel Marvel, Jackson. Right? Yeah, the Samuel Jackson story with the scrolls. So he has yeah. So maybe it's the origin story of how he, or they already showed how he got his icon. He already, right? yeah, it, yeah. No, this is the scroll story at the and end. He's of looking a, old right here. You got the old, you know. Well, because I mean? he's been on that spaceship this whole time, while the scroll has been impersonating him. Oh, so that's right. 
it, this is obviously the scroll story, like the secret invasion. This is obviously Captain, I mean, uh, Nick Fury fighting all of going into war with the aliens or whatever. So, I mean, I don't care about this either. Yeah. Like, I hate to say it. So, Miss Marvel. We have one more to watch after this, by the way, that's not included. I, I just have remembered. One I just question remembered about this. Let's talk about you. So it's not really the brown girls from Jersey City. Not really the what? The brown girls? Brown from girls from Jersey City. Okay, I just want to make sure. You saved the world. Who saved the world? Okay. Brown girls from Jersey City. You saved the world. From what I can tell, she's literally just um, the dude, uh, Mr. Fantastic, but he could exactly could just make their fist like their well, she, hands she, bigger. They're, she, uh, Mr. Fantastic has t- has two powers. One, he is beyond genius. He's the smartest man on Earth in our universe, actually. Two, he can stretch to like almost limited, almost limitless capabilities. Miss Marvel can grow. She can like be a giant. She can be. She can shrink down. Her powers are like this much different in reality. Yeah. Not very much. Yeah. Very but good. you're right. It looks like. Look, there's a bunch of people bowing their heads as Dude, she's of definitely Islam. Indian, bro. Yeah, so she's Indian. Or maybe though. not Indian, but like some kind of Islamic or yeah, or some Middle kind Eastern. of that. Yeah, India related yeah. or Middle Eastern, like you said. Maybe now they do. Well, they show her in the fucking outfit, though. You see that? They do, yeah, and it's like a janky ass plastic outfit. It looks like it's. It actually <laughs> like a, looks like, like Halloween like, or some shit. It, it looks like she made it from the Captain Marvel outfit, which might actually end up coming out next Halloween, like this time next year. Whoopie Maybe fucking do. do. <laughs> See, there's the Captain Marvel outfit. Yeah, she's wearing the Captain Marvel outfit. Who are these people, though? I don't know, dude. It doesn't even <laughs> does it even matter. Like, probably not. Yeah, she got the Captain Marvel outfit with the fucking little mohawk and shit. <laughs> so stupid, dude. They're definitely following the. Well, hold on. Go, hold on. Wait, go back. Go back. Look in the. Hold on. Pause it. So right here. No, no, wait. wait. That's Spider Man, dude. No, no. Look in the window. Yep, yep. You were circling it. Look in the window of the skyscraper in the scene. It looks like she's probably first stretching across. This is probably her. Yeah, this is her using her power. It's her using her power after this. Yeah, she's using her power. It even looks like she's dude, like no, stretching. Look at her. She's walking across. You can yeah, see she's that. stretching. Yeah, she's stretching across. Right, dude. Look at you see you see her walking. You see that? Yeah, I do. I do. It's like she's somebody, walking. Like leaping on like. Yeah, it's fucking stupid. Oh, geez. All these look horrible. I'm glad they didn't show Hawkeye in this. Woo! We got dude. She Hulk. This is the <laughs> worst one. Because that scene when it's just her big fat fucking big booty and she's green, dude, dude, this looks, <laughs> dude, this looks horrible. They, like I'm not excited about a fucking lawyer show about a green woman. I'm Jennifer. Walters. It's Jennifer Lawrence. Mm-hmm. Jennifer Hunter, sorry. I'm Jennifer Walters. Walters. Okay. I'm a normal lawyer. But then I just turned green. I like how they don't even show her whole face. Nah, because they were so, like, it looks horrible. So he's obviously related to fucking so, Bruce Banner. No, 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 she is. She, in the comics, She-Hulk is Bruce Banner's cousin. And in the comics, what happens I is... They were, no, they're, cous- they're cousins. Huh. What happens in the comics is she ends up getting injured defending somebody and needs a blood transfusion. But the only person available to help her survive is Bruce Banner. And he decides to do it she turns into she hulk so her this, ass just just turns all green and hulky Don't and, <laughs> yeah a little bit bigger but like this thing about this scene that people are uh, the rumor mill is saying that this is the gamma lab where during in between infinity wars and end game where professor hulk this. yeah this yeah. is where he became professor hulk so he brings her there to learn how to use her powers okay but so in the comics is- in the comics, by the way, though, and in the cartoons, she mainly stays in She-Hulk form. I, I really think this is a way of them getting... Because remember, me and you had this conversation. I forget which episode it was. But um, me and you had a conversation of... Uh, is Bruce Banner or Mark Ruffalo just going to be the Hulk forever? I think this is their way of getting rid of him and um, introducing a maybe. new type of Hulk. 
maybe also I also want to point out that in the comic books, Professor Hulk was short lived. He ended up turning himself back. Or didn't he end up like he, he it, it was either like the way they made it seem was like he just fucking reverted or like just went like fucking turned into like a fucking no it, what, expired sponge. Yeah. Or he ended up taking over the whole world because he well, was fucking there, me- yeah, remember there's multiple world versions of it. Or but for the record, Canon when he becomes Professor Hulk in the comics, he does not stay Professor Hulk. It's literally like a four or five series run or a four or five issue run. And then he becomes the regular what we know again. This, but it's pretty obvious that in the Marvel universe that they're, they're keeping him. they're keeping him as that. Not I don't mean Mark Ruffalo, but M- Professor Hulk is what they want to do. I okay, this is like huge fucking jump ahead predictions, but I think they're just gonna. This is a way of getting rid of him, introducing a new Hulk. I wouldn't. I don't. I don't care because it's not like he was an incredible actor, anyways. I mean, he I mean, was cool. He was better than Edward Norton. You hear that? It's crickets, bro, because I don't believe uh, it. <laughs> you know, oh, you like Edward Norton more? Yeah. Call me classic. I, Call me a boomer. I love uh, Edward I, Norton. Well, then, if you're going to say that, then I have to be like, I love Edward Norton, but I have to argue that um, Eric ba- Eric Bano was a better fucking Banner, Hulk. yeah. Yeah, uh, not Banner. Uh, it's no, no, I don't know. Yeah, it's Eric Bono. It's like almost like eerily exactly similar. the real name. It's almost <laughs> yeah. like exactly the same yeah. name as the character. It's no. Eric Bana is who we're thinking of from the okay. first Hulk. Okay. If you're gonna say that, saying. then I have to instantly be like, "What about Eric Bana versus Edward Norton?" But then nostalgia. To, but then I'll say this: the Hulk in um, uh, Age of Ultron with the Hulk Buster. That is my favorite Hulk scene in all of the movies. Yeah, that one is pretty sick. Uh, when Hulk Iron Man Buster is like, Hulk. yeah, when Iron Man's like, go to sleep. And Where, like, he and has the the, 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 the arm that just keeps on punching. It's yeah, like he's a, like, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. It's like, <laughs> like a hydraulic. I love it so much. That that's shit was held fa- up. That's my favorite Hulk moment. And let's be real, that had nothing to do with the actor or anything other than the CGI and the writing. <laughs> that's all true, bro. But that was I, like but, fan service. Um, yeah, this not looking angry. good. And then this right here where they make it <laughs> looks like Steve rule, bro. From fucking, <laughs> this is, it, it's made to look like this because it's from the original with uh, Lou Ferrigno. Ah, oh. yeah, it's made. It's, it's a joke that Marvel thought would be hilarious if they did. So an example, what you're watching in this scene right here is a commercial. It's a commercial of. The cousin, She Hulk. Oh. It, it's a it's a commercial of She Hulk's lawyer firm. Oh, okay, I can see, see what I'm saying, dude. He literally looks like Steve Brule, though. I don't know if you ever seen that Steve Brule show. Yeah. When I'm angry. You wouldn't so like stupid. me when I'm angry. I prostitute. That was you. stupid. She'll suck your dick right out of your she fucking Hulk. skin. <laughs> she can well, circumcise you with her lips. That- <laughs> exactly. She's gonna be the Ally McBeal of this generation. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Why'd you have no to say that? Lawyer Bro, why did you dream. have to say that? <laughs> Bro, that's spot on. This is the Ally McBeal of the new Marvel shows. Like female single fuck. lawyer turning hella green. She's not horny. <laughs> She's turning green. She's, green. She's <laughs> yeah. horny as a toad, bro, but not the green kind. Like, bro, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. Fuck all this. She's gonna be strong woman. Yeah, no, gonna... <laughs> I'm a strong woman. Like God. she's green and she's strong and she's a woman. She's green, she's strong, but she doesn't have the dog. She's a green woman. <laughs> <laughs> Disney made it so she could beat up the original Hulk because she's strong woman. <laughs> <laughs> that will happen. That'll happen. That'll happen. There will be a scene in this. They're gonna arm wrestle, and she's gonna break the Hulk's arm. Or they will fight, and and he'll realize like she's stronger than me because that happens in the fucking (laughs) comics. (laughs) Yep, bro. Somebody (laughs) like us is gonna cue that song from South Park to that scene. (laughs) And it's so annoying. It's so annoying. Oh god, I hate it. I hate it. I'm not there to watch it. (laughs) I don't care about this either. I don't care about this either. I think all of these shows suck. This one looks what like the it's going to. This, I don't even know what this is. is related to the girl from WandaVision. I... The girl with the purple magic. 
Are you fucking? I'm not kidding, kidding you. That's exactly me. what this is. It's the girl from WandaVision that you oh you know who I'm talking God. about, right? Yeah, you watch yeah. the show. She's that's not the girl who plays Agatha. No. It's this fucking redheaded chick that has like she was in Step Brothers, funny enough. I was talking about John Cena Riley. She was the chick in Step Brothers that he fucks. Okay, also and she's like, stay golden, pony boy. Okay, okay, so you're right. Um, Julia Louise Dreyfus is the girl who makes the post credit scene at the end of Black Widow. See, I've never seen Black Widow. She, so that. the rumor is that she is starting the dark version of the Avengers. So Abomination. Is Larry David going to be in it? Oh my God, <laughs> that'd be Seinfeld so gonna be good, in it? bro. I, I'd watch uh, that. Uh, uh, by the way, fucking uh, Thanos, what, what's, what, what's bro, going on with this over here? Bro. <laughs> it, Anyways, let's move on from this fucking st- stupid show. This so butchery. this one, though. Look I, look, I don't care. I don't care. This is the first Spider-Man cartoon. I will be like, nope. <laughs> it's funny because you you really you you've literally been vocal since Tom uh, Holland been uh, Spider-Man. You're like, I'm over the Spider-Man in fucking high school. Yeah, dude. And they're like f- Spider-Man freshman year. No, dude, it's bullshit. It's bullshit because it could have been Spidey versus no, bro, Morales or anything. Bro, fucking the first Spider Man, what was it? Homecoming. Yeah. That's his sophomore year. Junior year, far from home. No way home, senior, senior. year. It's fucking annoying, dude, because every Spider Man movie has done this and every Spider Man movie gets canceled before he hits the best storylines, college. And I'm like, Okay, the only Spider Man one... Three had it, but it didn't. Bro, get no, but it was no, after no, no. it was after his graduation, and no, then he actually, was in college. The Tobey Maguire series is the only one who ex- ex- expanded after Spider Man Three was after college. It was no, no, no. It was two and three were in college with Tobey Maguire. It pisses me off because the best time of Spider Man is not when he's a kid; it's when he is evolved and he's a man, and like he's actually Spider Man, and like exactly. he's a beast, like. Come on, can we point out one thing that this MCU did right? Tony Stark, the person, Iron Man, that started the MCU, right? In this universe, Marvel Cinematic Universe, saw something in this Peter Parker. Can we see that something finally? Yeah, because, like, I want to. I mean, far I from want, home. I want to see that the, 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 the moves in every Marvel was Capcom kind of. Marvel was Capcom yeah, game that closest, Spider-Man has the where he closest, punches him a couple times and then somebody tries to come up to him and he just goes down on his fucking feet and then lifts up his right one of his feet and just whoops. yeah launches him and like the only time we've gotten close to seeing that with Tom Holland is in Far From Home with Mysterio at the very end when they have the spider sense fight and that fight is amazing. It's it is amazing. pretty sick. It's honestly one of my fi- favorite Spider-Man scenes in all it's Spider-Man. Amazing. And there's you know two... I don't like this new Spider-Man. No, agreed. And, uh, and I, I know what you mean. And there's two scenes in that movie that are incredible. The fight between the very first fight between Mysterio and Spider-Man with all the illusions. And then the second train at the end. Too. Yeah. And he punches the wall because he thinks it's Mysterio and it's a pillar. And that acting, he's like, ah, oh! and he shakes his hand. I love that. And then the end scene when he closes his eyes and he starts fighting, I was like, my Peter Tingle is tingling. Like, <laughs> right? This is amazing. My like, real this, Spidey sense for Spider-Man. It's amazing. It was amazing. It was better, in my opinion, than a lot of what we've seen. I am not excited. Yeah, fuck so we this. Got, we, got, we got a couple more. Uh... I don't know what Echo is, so don't ask me. I haven't looked it up. I'm not. I don't know. It sounds cool. And then I am Groot. I don't care even if it's Vin Diesel. A whole cartoon of somebody going, I am Groot, sounds like shit. <laughs> I am Groot. Ironheart is the female What are version. you saying? <laughs> I am Groot. I, am- I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like 10 episodes of that. Um, <laughs> I, I, Ironheart, for the record, Ironheart is the female character who steals um, Stark technology and builds an Iron Man suit, very similar to the one we've seen in the first movie. I guarantee you this is going to be about Tony Stark's daughter. I mean, I would hope so, but I don't think that's what it's going to be because in the comics, that's not the case. And we got these Marvel zombies. So let's hope they make it better than the fucking uh, the other they, Marvel stuff they made. Marvel zombies is an example of them going. Everybody's hyped up about 
the Marvel zombies in the what if episode. Now we're going to make a whole series. This might as well be the walking dead of Marvel. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. So I actually didn't know we're going to be talking so much about these later episodes. Funny enough to have like no fucking context, with, but I'm glad we are because this kind of pisses me off. X-Men 97 remake. Did did anybody ask for this? Okay. You no. go to any no, X-Men they comments and you'd see at least one comment saying X-Men in the 90s. The, X- the 90s X-Men cartoons was fucking dope. No, it was pivotal. It was beyond dope. It was so much better than dope. It was probably the top three cartoon of animated superhero series in the 90s. Like, that dude, cartoon was it amazing. Was, it was, dude. I'll never... Exactly, bro. Like, dude, it gives me a boner thinking about it. Like, and then also, Ben, do you remember playing this video game on Nintendo, Super Nintendo, playing the X Men '97, and you could play as Gambit, and it was side scroller. Yeah, yeah, dude. So, so but the thing that is like. Why are they playing with our fucking emotions on this? They're trying to go for that nostalgia factor so hardcore. They could have just made a new X Men movie no. show. They had to make X Men ninety seven, bro. And if I look it up, I, I guarantee it's gonna be like the the last episode was in ninety seven or some shit yeah. like that, or like some stupid shit. But I'm just like, did they? They didn't did try. We, did they, they really didn't try this? They no. Really, what pisses me off is this right here, dude. 97. Just so you know, all you kids born in the fucking 90s and grew no, up no, watching this cartoon. You know what it is? Yeah, exactly. You remember how earlier, remember how earlier we started this trailer and this video out with you were like, these new videos are not made for our generation. This right here is an attempt to reach our generation. And I don't like it. I don't fucking like it. I'm like, no, dude, that cartoon was perfect. Look. Me and Ben have said this time again and time again about other series, non-Marvel related, that do not need to be remade. And let's bring up the biggest, most obvious one, Dragon Ball Z. You can't make that into a movie yet. You guys are not ready for the talent and passion it takes to make it. This right here, 97, you fuck you, bro. Bro, Like, Remember, too, this this made one of the... One of the best dubs before YouTube dubs was even a fucking thing. I'm Juggernaut, but bitch. I'm the Juggernaut, bitch. Captain Marvel. <laughs> like, it's so dope, dude. Xavier, you little bitch. Like, I... <laughs> Who more Greggy Fikes out? Who more yeah, Greggy no, Fikes doing... <laughs> Bro, bro. You're doing Jackie Chan again. Well, that's what they say in the show. Though. Oh, that's what they... in, the, in the dubs. In the dubs, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was like, bro, you racist fuck. <laughs> You're like, wait, 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 bro. You're doing Jackie Chan. Okay. You can't be doing that, bro. You got to cut this out, dude. <laughs> no, but you're right, though, because in the dubs, in the in the audio dubs, before dubbing was a thing. Before, yeah, before anybody started, could, before anybody knew you could make money from dubbing off a of fucking stupid bro, show. Bro, you, like you said, ideas. there will never be a better, I'm the juggernaut, bitch. I'll skull fuck you and blow your brains out, bitch. Like, that shit was so funny. Oh, my God. And and then Spider-Man picking all of the all of his characters for the Secret Wars. And he's like, he's like, who's this horny motherfucker? Oh, that's Wolverine. He's got a pickle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, and then he's like, I'll pick that motherfucker. I'm uh, going to skip. He's like, Jubilee, that fine little bitch. <laughs> that was an old so school. So great, dude. See, so going back to this show, though, is like, how are they really going to try to do this? Like, well, I, I hate to I'm, say it. I have one comparison real quick. It, if He-Man fell, I don't see much hope for this. And let's say bring back the original directors no like art, way which no all way. like fucking you know Dead grand- and gone, or retired. at least like grandparents age yeah or like a, a parents age or whatever there's no way no way this is gonna it might be good with this generation that loves to just be like nostalgic for a generation they never lived for for because fucking for whatever reason this this generation loves stranger things yeah, they never seen anything about the '80s. No, and then now, like this next generation is gonna be like, you guys the, like 90s. the '90s, the '90s. Oh I, I my fucking, god! I was fucking. Hey, I but was, you know what? The '90s was 13 years old when I was hey, 10, bro. But you know what? <laughs> this kind of supports what I've been saying about in general industries, pop culture, and music. The music industry, where I said I see a time 
where the 90s and the early 2000s make a comeback. The same way that a few years ago, we seen young hipsters wearing uh, parachute pants. Dude. Right. So, I mean, X-Men 97, they may actually be ahead of their time doing it. But my point being, and I think it's your same point, exactly your words. Was anybody fucking asking for this? No. No. It's literally just like more of like, I remember watching this when I was a kid before I even knew Marvel. Da, 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 da. <laughs> before da, 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 I even knew these da, people yeah. were even comic book characters. Bro, but, uh, I was watching a YouTuber earlier talk about this series, and he was talking about how excited he is because of the very first Marvel cartoon he watched was the X-Men. And I understand that because on Saturday morning, Saturday morning cartoons, we used to get X-Men, Silver Surfer, Spider-Man, which was my shit, the 90s animated series. Uh, Spider-Man Unlimited, which was the 2000 cartoon, and we just got all the coolest cartoons. Fantastic Four. We got yeah. all of them. I understand. I promise you this is not going to be it. It's going to be the GTA trilogy you of see, the Marvel remakes. Like I, I said this before, too. is like People look at like Iron Man and fucking uh, oh, Captain, and Iron Captain Man. America. And Iron Man cartoon. The Iron Man cartoon was well, another even, pivotal one. Even, even then, though, like, people look at Iron Man and like Black Widow and like the Hulk and everything. Like Those characters for us were just side characters. Yeah, like, they were they, dope characters. No, but they, they were, were dope, they were, but they, they always made Wolverine. appearances. Yeah, they, they made Spider-Man. appearances. They, they weren't, weren't Cyclops. They, they were not fucking yeah, Carnage. they weren't Cyclops. They weren't Gambit, like you said earlier. There wasn't, was, like, fucking... Um, even Rogue, dude. Even yeah. Rogue was a fucking even Jubilee, yeah, dude, dude. If you watched X Men and you watched it, you knew Jubilee was shoving a firework up your ass. Dude, like, she was the Gohan of the series, bro. Bro, she was the ultimate real. character without being the ultimate character. Yeah, and like, I agree. And uh, like, every character on that show had an amazing episode. All in all, do you think Disney Plus can pull this off? Um, so I want to bring this up, and this is relevant to what you just asked. In the stock market right now, it's a big thing that Disney is failing because of Disney Plus adhering to their losing numbers and the amount of members they don't actually have, right? Um, because they only offer Disney and Marvel products in reality. And they have other shit, but it's yeah, just so yeah. lim- it's so Star Wars and all, yeah. Yeah, it's so limited in, as far as like if you were to sign up for that or Hulu, you're going to pick Hulu. Or Netflix or HBO well, they have, Max. They have that deal where you do Hulu, ESPN. I, yeah, yeah, for there. sure. Um, uh, same way like Marvel. I mean, same way Game Pass has EA and yeah, Bethesda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but look, looking at this, there's nothing here. Disney Plus is a failing thing as far as I'm concerned compared to HBO Max. Yeah, I could, I could totally see that because they're trying to capitalize on their fucking... Every on, property, on their names. every property, yeah, everything they're not, they they're, own. They're not trying to do the shit that they originally been doing, like fucking. You know what would Winnie blow me Pooh away? Or fucking. No, you know what would blow me away is if the Fox streaming platform and if Sony and Marvel's Disney Plus all combined, then you'd have this amazing platform of movies and shows and cartoons, right? To remake a movie though, or to remake a specifically in what we're talking about a cartoon from the 90s that is actually like a prolific cartoon from a the prolific 90s. cartoon like and it's, street sharks or like fucking uh swat cats or something it's literally like that and it's like it's like the caliber of those cartoons is unmatched in today's culture and it's it, it nothing influences kids like it did back then with those and to see them do this no to answer your question Fuck no. I think this is a horrible idea. I think everything they announced other than Moon Knight, because Moon Knight, I won't watch. I don't care about it. I would say Moon Knight and the uh, Miss, not, not Miss, what is the one that Miss came Marvel? Before, the one that came before Miss Marvel was Sam oh, the Jackson. Se- the uh, Secret Invasion. Yeah, Secret Invasion. Secret those Invasion, two. Moon Knight, those only two. Yeah, the, I'll watch those, and it's all, and I'll be honest, it's not because of the story. It's because of Sam Oscar Jackson. Isaac and Sam Jackson. Yeah. Oscar Isaac is Moon Knight. 100% he's agree. Amazing. He's an amazing actor. I don't really like a lot of his roles. I thought some amazing. of those scenes were fucking corny as fuck and goofy when like his face is where he's like, uh, uh, yeah, I, 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 I would, I'm still going to watch it. He's my strong hand. <laughs> uh, but like, <laughs> but like Sam Jackson, yeah. <laughs> but 
Bless that you. other shit, thank you. Uh, but that other shit, nah, bro, forget about it. Everything else they named, garbage. They didn't even bring yeah. up Blade. Well, like, he might be a movie, so. Uh, I read a I read a thing where there's an Easter egg in one of those shows. Please don't tell me he's a show, bro. If he's a show, I'm going to be pissed. He's going to be a show. More reasons to be I, like, I, I, are you Blade? He's like, yeah, he's like. Canceled. <laughs> canceled. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't care. Like, I don't, at this rate, with everything they just announced, I'm more offended than anything, specifically by them ending on the high note of X-Men. Yeah, man. I mean, maybe this is their way of introducing X-Men into their MCU. I think they're hyping it up. I yeah. think that this is their way, the same way that, that Spider-Man freshman year is a way of hyping up the Tom Holland Spider-Man. Mm. Man. So, and I don't know why you need that if supposedly, uh, po- supposedly, it's because they want to try to bring everybody that's ever been a Marvel fan ever to Disney and be like, hey, we got Mar- this, look, we got Disneyland, we can go look, visit the Marvels. They succeeded off of Into the Spider Verse, and now they're doing Spider Verse movies. And it's like, that's influencing their thing. And it's like, that's cool, but I really wish you guys had original ideas. Well, you know what? I'll I'll put it this way rather than be rather than being a complete negative Nancy for everybody listening. You know what? We get all this cool shit. So true. true. They just have to do it right for us. That's all. Yeah. And look, I hope they learn from things like uh, Kevin Smith's He-Man where it's yeah. like you can't just put a name on something and call it. You can't shove. Ch- you cannot shove feathers up your ass and call yourself. Well, a chicken. even the last Star Wars movie they made. I th- I really that hope was they a learned. flop. That was a flop. All three of them were. That's of course, but everybody yeah. loved the first one, and everybody fucking sucked the second one's dick in the and, third yeah, one. Yeah, the third one was horrible. On and they're like, this yeah. is not what I want. Yeah, we didn't want Luke Skywalker to be <laughs> You're a like, bitch. wait a minute, you've been shitting on this the whole time? Okay, now I see. Oh, so... But yeah, dude, we'll, we'll talk about more of these stuff on this, these, these shows that are coming out because we still yeah. have to wait for Spider-Man and then fucking uh, Morbius and then... Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. So there's yeah. a lot. there's a lot coming out. A lot. Hopefully they'll shed more light on these Disney Plus shows that you know what I mean. Nobody cares about <laughs> exactly, except these people who've never seen any that are growing up and they're like, "This is the empty dude. This is, yeah, this is what we needed." <laughs> I'm twelve. And this is exactly what I needed. Yeah, I, I rela- school again. I, I related to this so much. <laughs> but um, yeah. If you made it this far, you guys rock. Check out the description. Check out all the stuff. Cool cannon. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here, taking your time out of your schedule to be here. Much appreciated. Love yep, you so thank, much. Thank you for letting me come onto the channel. Anybody listening, I'm sure he already said it, but again, make sure you drop requests for what you want us or Ben to react to, to talk about, to review, to watch, to do commentary for. There's all kinds of things that are done on this channel that are fucking super diverse. I promise if you want us to do it, not only we have we probably already done something similar, but we're totally willing to do it for you. Exactly, exactly. And, uh, yeah, uh, be nice to each other out there. It's the holidays coming up, so you guys be nice, be, be safe, safe, watch out for the fucking the, the, the crazy Bogey people. Man. And, uh, yeah, take care of each other. Spiritcast. Oh. Ow.